we don't um, encourage anyone because we don't really know why they're going into the building. We get people to approach us, and then many people are provoked by the image, so they come in, you know, ask questions. Okay. Thank you. Question from the question. Line. Hi, thank you. Hi. Um, my question is, have you read the legislation? I have. So how would this legislation keep you from doing what you feel that you need to do? Okay, well, as I, I just read the recent um, draft, and it's at 25 feet, or mm -hmm. even 15 feet, <clears throat> for that matter. Um, we wouldn't be able to stand in front of the building, um, have access to people who want the information, um, you know, to enter in the building to, to use Planned Parenthood services. Um, Why? Why? Yeah. I mean, we would be, like Stan said, we would be in front of other businesses on the other side. Um, but you'll still, still see people, and if people want to talk to you, they can come right up to you. Right. You'll have a sign indicating who you are and what you're doing, right. and that you have education and help that's available, and people can approach you. I mean, it's not saying you can't be there at all. It's just saying give them a little more room. But we're giving them much room. Um, if you see there, there's a lot of space for them to walk by. We're not blocking the entrance. We're actually standing on the other side of the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And they walk freely in and out of the building. You know, people are able to walk in. So I don't, I don't see how a standing there is preventing anyone well, from walking. If you walking go back in. a few slides, if I may. Okay, you're next. I would note that if I were a young, young, young woman who's probably scared or eager to, to go to Planned Parenthood to ask questions, to go to a reproductive health clinic, to, to get a mammogram, to get a pap smear, whatever. There were a couple of slides. Uh, uh, the one with most of the people, with, with a lot of people. With a lot of people. Oh, close um, to the side. Yeah, That's right it. there. That's I true. would personally have a very tough time going into that building. Mm. I think it would be very intimidating. I would be afraid. I would say, oh my God, you know, I don't want these people. But if you're I, going in to get a mammogram, why would, why would signs it's like It's a that? lot of people out there Chairman, with no, a lot of signs. Chairman, That's why. Yeah. No, I might have the floor. I'd like to speak, but may I just make a comment on Ms. Myers? No, not no. now. She's a member of the, of yeah. the committee. Yeah. She's allowed to I understand. Okay. Right. Well, it's also been, you know, um, you know, shown that Planned Parenthood only refers for um, screenings, for cancer screenings, so they actually don't. Oh, I mean, disagree with you on that one. Having gone to Planned Parenthood for mammograms, uh, you're actually wrong. Well, that's it. Yeah, that was my question. I just find this interesting. Um, could you just, I think if you back up one more picture, I was just, maybe one more, I think it was a view. Okay, you're going in the wrong direction. If you the other way, look right there. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm just, yeah. I'm just curious, and I was going to ask Father the same thing. I, in watching, in watching all of these things, I, I'm sitting here today. And I'm not reading messages on the on the posters. I'm, I'm not really doing anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm more concerned about things that I see that perhaps I've personally experienced. I, I've been in in office as far back as 1983. Um, I've been a state legislator up in Albany. I've spent years here. I've been in a lot of different situations locally and in Albany. And believe me, it's not its not all pro-life people or all pro-choice people. It could be gun advocates. It could be labor union people in front of a, a business where non-union labor is being utilized. And, and I commend you those of you here who are talking about your experiences and how it's been problem free, my experience has been, both here locally in Westchester, Albany, and other parts of, of, of uh, and, and Washington, um, where I've either witnessed or encountered things that have bothered me. I've felt that people have been in, in my, my face, my space. And um, I fully understand their right to uh, free speech, but there are times when I think they, they cross over the line. And as I'm watching s some of this today, um, I'm just kind of curious, when you plan a large demonstration and the organizers have a lot of a lot of people show up for it, um, is somebody looking, I mean, is somebody getting a sense that maybe as the crowd is growing we're not quite leaving enough space um, on the sidewalk? I'm just kind of curious about that. Demonstrations that have four or five people, all right, just, there's plenty of room to pass. This is a large crowd. 
at what point during the day, when this crowd meets, meet, met its peak, did someone say, wait a minute, we got to back this off? I mean, Father, from the curb, I mean, how far back would you recommend, as, a, as someone who is on the sidewalk down there, how far back would you recommend, for example, from the curb, just for reasonable passage of pedestrian traffic going both ways? I don't know whether it's two of those cement concrete, you know, those blocks in, or, or, or it's half the sidewalk, but that does concern me a little bit. It also, I also noticed that there was a, a, a demonstration coming up a sidewalk, and I'm just kind of curious about, you know, what the, what the role of a large group is when someone wants to pass. I mean, does everybody know to get out of the way? Or maybe it might be better if, if the area is kind of defined and organizers just say, hey, back off. And that doesn't apply to you. That, that applies to anybody who is out on the public street. A bake sale, don't, don't put your bake table, you know, all the way across the sidewalk where I have to go out to the road and then get back on. And there, there are situations where this, this happens. So, you know, once again, maybe I'm asking it more rhetorically, but when I see this, I'm, I'm saying to myself, gee, I wonder if the crowd ever gets to a point where now, as someone who is going into the building or maybe just passing by the building, for a period of time, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out in the street. I'm off the curb and out in the street. Maybe, maybe I don't want to be out in the street. The whole point is, it is under all circumstances, are you leaving enough sidewalk for people to pass by? And when I pass by, maybe I don't want to be bothered by anyone. I don't want anybody in my face. I don't want anybody walking with me as I walk down, even if it's just 50 feet. I don't want you with me. All right? I want to pass by free of, you, you, you might say something, I don't have to react to it. But I certainly don't want you with me as I go by, and I don't want to have to get off the sidewalk, which is meant for me to walk on. So I, these are just some of the things that are going through my mind as I see some of these pictures, more of them having to do with the larger demonstrations, obviously, than the small. If I may address some of those concerns. Uh, do you have anybody else that's going to testify? I have, uh, we have uh, Did he ask me Gerald a question? Dunn, I think he asked me a question. I'd like, so. like to respond so, to it. Yeah. Man, we're running it. We're getting close to Stand, the stand okay. close up to the Just, the just the to respond very briefly, okay. uh, Mr. Ryan, okay. this is one time a year uh, in which the rector of the St. Joseph Seminary celebrates a liturgy in St. Mary's Church in Getty Square. And they ask the people there if you'd like to march down and say a rosary. Yeah. That's once a year. And I see plenty of space uh, for people to walk by. Now, when you want to balance rights in terms of what's at stake here, they're not, they're not little selling popcorn in there. They're destroying uh, human life. You're, and you're, these people are praying. You're making a mistake. You're going off track. No, no, no. I, no, no, if, no. If, if no I'm can, saying I there's was, a reason if, if to I balance. To the me, of the me, my wife, Father, please, 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 please. I, I listened very carefully as you spoke. I'd like to see, even in your facial expressions, the same respect for me. Let me just give you a scenario. I'm walking with me, my wife, a baby carriage, and a small son, and I'm walking to utilize this sidewalk. I have to tell you, I don't think that's enough space between the group and, and, the, and the curb. And my only question was, is somebody there kind of mentioning that, hey, we're, we're, we're really too heavy here this morning. We have to keep this open. I just raise that as a question because clearly you're getting closer and closer to tying up the entire sidewalk with people, whether it's once a year or 365 a year. <coughs> May I address those issues? I, actually, I, I'd like to give a little bit uh, first, but I'll take this for running short. And at the end, if you want to sum up. All right, all right, fine. But I, I want to come back to that point. Whoever's, let's I'll just stand to the point. People that are trying to talk because they've been waiting a long time. Okay. 